Now this next free reading is for a Cancer female. I'm going to call her Moonstone because she wanted her real name to be kept anonymous. And I'm calling you Moonstone because you have that conjunction between your Cancer Sun and Saturn. So, Moonstone, you wrote me saying, hello, beautiful Rabina. Well, thank you. <laughs> First of all, thank you for honoring my request. You are truly one of the dopest astrologers on YouTube. And I absolutely love your approach to astrology. Now that I got that out of the way, I was born July 16th, 1975, Brooklyn, New York. I look forward to hearing everything you have to say. Once again, thank you so much. And then uh, you wrote me back saying, I got so excited when you said to email you that I forgot to ask a question. <laughs> I really just want to know what you see. I will tell you this. I have been single for a long time, since 2012. At first, it was by choice. I had come out of an eight-year relationship, and I just needed a break. And then the last seven to eight years of my life have been real, real hard, and it is just now starting to pick up. I am not married, and I do not have children. I am currently furthering my education, and I plan on getting even more education when I complete what I am doing now. Once again, my birthday, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Um, hope this helps with a little bit of insight. And then uh, you wrote me again saying, glad you didn't do my free reading yet because after listening to others, I feel like there are some more things I need to share with you. First of all, my mom died when I was five. She had eight kids and she is a Pisces born March 7th. My dad raised me. He is born September 7th. So you inherited that seven from both of your parents. So your birth number is a 16 that breaks down to seven. And 16 can be more problematic than 7. So you said, wow, I just realized both my parents have a 7 birthday. Anyway, my dad, let's just say he has two sides to him. And at the same time, we are good friends. He has a slew of children. I really would like to know why my family is funny towards me. It's like nobody wants to see me make it. And they have shunned me hard. Will see me out in the street and not even speak then write on my wall about how nice it was to see me that day shaking my head anyway I thought I would share this with you because I left it out of the initial email but all of that still applies as well I look forward to my reading and have a wonderful rest of the day okay well thank you Moonstone so Moonstone the underlying reason for your problems is that Taurus South Node is at the 28th degree it's in your second house. So in this lifetime, you can't expect your life to be really uh, normal by any sense of the word. And the reason why your family is the way it is, is, again, going back to that second house south. No, this is the underlying reason, because in this lifetime, you're not really supposed to develop attachment to anything, including people. So that would include your family. So it's like... It started with your family, started with your mom even, where she passed away when you were only five years old. Now you have moon conjoined to Uranus, and that can deal with where you're in a family where there's really no outward displays of love and affection and nurturing, and where, you know, you still might be connected to your family, but there can even be that phoniness with them, just like how you mentioned, where, you know, they act funny towards you. And they really don't want to make an effort to really, you know, maintain a close relationship with you. But then, you know, they'll see you out on the street and then you said right on my wall about how nice it was to see me that day. So that right there, again, stemming back to your Taurus self known in the second house, that's that superficial shit. Because Taurus is a very superficial sign. So in this lifetime, you have to really step away from that which is superficial and deal with that which is more meaningful, that which, you know, deep, intimate connections is what you need to form. And that deals with your north node being in Scorpio. And it's in the eighth house. So you have your nodes at the 28th degree. So that 28th degree can produce situations where... um it's cyclic in nature. So your life basically runs in cycles. Cycles are ups and ups and downs. 
So right now you're in the down cycle because you said that you've been single for a long time and you said the last seven to eight years of your life have been real, real hard. You said real, real, real hard. And it's just now starting to pick up. First of all, with that Scorpio North Node, you could expect your life to be hard in various areas. So just come to welcome the challenges that that Scorpio North Node will bring. Because that Taurus South Node means that you're coming from a position or a past life of having a very secure and peaceful existence. But in this lifetime, that Scorpio North Node is not going to allow that to happen. You also have uh, Sun conjoined to Saturn, which means that in this lifetime, you do have to be as self-sufficient as possible, as independent as possible as well. But that also speaks to your dad uh, raising you, having full responsibility uh, for you. Let me see. What else did you say? Oh, your mother uh, passing away. That deals with your moon being in square to Saturn. Also, Saturn square in the moon also uh, reinforces the whole issue with you not having a close relationship with your family and you feeling like uh, your family really doesn't want to see you and they shunned you. So that's that Saturn square moon. So in this lifetime, you have to uh, basically have family that's more so, I'll say, you can have a friend that's more of a family member or that feels more like family than your actual family because you got that moon conjoined to Uranus but that conjunction between moon and Uranus does have me quite concerned because it's in your seventh house and number one that can deal with being single for quite a while but number two if you're in a relationship or marriage that can represent a man that has a female friend that he's involved with whether it's sexually or emotionally and that can cause problems in your relationship so you might if you're in this relationship with this guy or even if you're married you might even know of this woman but you may not know how far their relationship goes like she could be a mutual friend of yours and then you find out that your man and her have been sleeping together for the past 10 years so you just got to be very careful when it comes to choosing a mate with that moon conjoined to Uranus in the seventh house. Also, that can bring issues with his mother as well, your uh, mother-in-law, if you were to get married. So there's a good chance that you won't get married in this lifetime because of that conjunction in the seventh house. And with that Scorpio North No, you do need to be open to having, you know, different types of relationships where it's not necessarily that normal type of relationship because Taurus deals with normalcy. So with that Scorpio North Node, you might have to share a man. And it may not be willingly. It might be because, like I said, a scenario where your man has this friend and he's been friends with her for years, so he's not looking to get rid of her because he values her. But at the same time, you know, he's cheating on you all that type of stuff. Let me see what else you wrote. But I think I uh, pretty much covered uh, your concerns. And you mentioned, you know, you were going to go back to school and all that. You do have Sagittarius on your ninth with Jupiter and Aries in your first. And that can deal with where, yes, you do continue to go back to school to get more and more education because you really do identify with the education that you've acquired. So that is very important to you in this lifetime. So you might even decide to, um, you might even want to think about teaching at some point. But yeah, um, if you have any questions, you can either send me an email, you can write a comment in the comment section, but let me know what you think. And if anybody would like a chance for a free reading, you can go to my website. Oh, I'm sorry. It is, I'm sorry, I haven't got much sleep. So, um, I'm about to go to sleep after this free reading and then wake up and do some more. But, oh God. Okay. If you would like a free reading, you can send me an email, put free reading on the subject line. And if you would like an in-depth reading now, you could go to my website at Rabina.com. Peace and many blessings.